Hi there, Jane Caruso. I'm bringing you another segment in the How to Do a Virtual Meet series. We have talked in other segments about things that the meet directors need to do. We've talked about Zoom skills for judges and coaches. We have a session for judges, a flip 10 session, and this session will be focused on meet referees. So we're gonna talk about the things that the meet referees need to keep in mind. It's a brief tutorial, so stay tuned. We're gonna start right now. So as I talk to you about meet referee functions at virtual competitions, I'm specifically referring to the Zoom platform. We do have other trainings out there that refer specifically to the Flip 10 platform. I'm gonna talk about the duties in two parts because there are some things that the meet referee are going to have to attend to prior to the competition. There's things she's gonna to have to work out with the meet director in advance. And then there are things she's gonna to wanna to pay attention to when she actually gets to the meet with her judges. So the meet referee is a very critical liaison with the meet director. The first thing that she really needs to understand is what virtual means. The word virtual means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So does it mean that athletes are coming into the host gym, but the judges to save numbers are judging from home? Does it mean that each team is judging from their own facility and the judges are at home? Or could it mean that some athletes are traveling to the host gym and others are competing from their own facility and the judges might be in the meet judging some athletes live and some virtually or are the judges all at home. So that's important for the referee to understand and she also needs to know which platform is going to be used. The second most important thing is the scoring system. A lot of us are using electronic scoring. Some of us use ProScore or LiveMeet. And in those instances, the judges at home need to have an iPad to score with, as well as a second device to judge on. And that second device would not be a cell phone. Sometimes at a meet, the pro score happens when the judges speak their scores to a helper and the helper has the pro score tablet and she enters for the judges. Sometimes only one judge needs to have an iPad and the second judge can speak her score to the head judge. Sometimes at meets, we use the chat room and someone at the host club is recording scores from the chat room. So we need to know what the scoring system is going to be. There are lots of possibilities. We will also need to know how the start values are gonna be flashed. Is the start value chart held up to the camera? Is it going into the chat room? Is someone going to speak it? It's important for the coaches to know the start value. So you want them to have immediate access. And sometimes that's hard when you're using ProScore or LiveMeet. The meet referee also needs to understand the paper trail because we definitely need a backup. In most cases, I'm going to think that the best scenario would be where the head judge keeps the heat sheet and she has both scores and the average recorded. And if it is needed, she can always take a picture of it on her cell phone and text it to the meet director and the meet referee. There needs to be a backup routine process and she needs to get what that's going to be like from the meet director. If there's a glitch and a judge can evaluate a routine, there are other ways she can see it if the coach has backed up the routine. So if the coach can pull out a cell phone and record it while the Zoom is going on, if there's a problem, he can always text the routine to the judge. It's possible there's a flip 10 option that might work coming up soon, or the coach can log his device that he recorded the routine on 
into the Zoom room and then he can share his screen and share with the judges that way. So the meet referee wants to understand what the backup process can be so she can prepare her judges. She'll also wanna make sure she has a meeting room for judges. They'll wanna be there in the beginning to have their meet, their pre-meet session, and they'll wanna report back to that meeting room at the end when they've all completed their session. The meet referee will wanna understand how the timers are going to work. Is each club bring, bringing their own timer or is the host seating a permanent timer in each event room? And how will the timers communicate with the judges if there is a timing problem? Most important, she's gonna need the meet director's cell phone in case there's a big problem and she needs to reach out to him quickly. She may also want the phone numbers of other helpers at the gym, possibly someone at the head table that is handling the scores. So the judges meeting, the meet referee will make sure that her panel has also shared their numbers. So they can do that during the pre-meet meeting. They can text each other. Um, they can put the numbers in the chat room, whatever they're comfortable with, but the panel members should have cell phone numbers of each other in case they need them. The meet referee should be eyeing those backgrounds. I know a lot of us like to use them, just make sure they are appropriate. The meet referee should make sure that all the judges are correctly identified. They have their name in there, their full name, so that if they're using the chat, their chats are correctly identified. The meet referee will discuss the scoring system and the paper trail with the judges. Uh, this might be something best done in advance of the meeting so the judges come prepared with the tools that they need. The meet referee will go over the chat room, when to use it and what type of information is expected in there. Does the coach want to see the average? Does the coach want to see the start value? Are we going to communicate those things verbally and we don't need the chat room? So the meet referee will explain all of that. She will also make sure that the judges know how to mute themselves. And sometimes maybe this is a good thing to practice, especially if they're going to speak to each other on the phone. They might want to make sure that they are muted on Zoom. If they've gotten into the judges meeting, they're probably okay moving about the event rooms, but she would remind the judges that when they're done their whole session, they would return to the judges room. She'll remind the head judges to take a look at the camera angles before each team starts to compete. Can I see the toes in a cast handstand on the high bar? Is there enough room for me to see the landing on the balance beam dismount? So all those things should be checked before the first athlete in each team competes. She'll also go over pinning with the judges, and this is something they can easily practice. You just need to remind the judges to do it. You don't want to lose a routine in the middle of it because the noise popped up somewhere else in the gym. She will also discuss the mechanism for a conference. If it has to be a long conference, is it okay to have a phone conversation? Is it okay to post little things like, I didn't give the kiss to Stana B in the chat room, is that okay? So the meet referee will discuss that with the judges. She will also remind the judges that if they are judging on site and virtually, that they'll wanna bring something to charge their devices with. Very important. We're gonna put on our happy face. This is a very positive experience. We want it to be really great for the athletes. There will be glitches. So we need to keep calm. We need to smile through them. We need to figure them out. The meet referee can help you. The meet director can help you. But we wanna just soar through those glitches and give the athlete the best experience that we can. And finally, the meet referee can go over the pay sheet with the judges. And I, I gave you an example, there's plenty of them out there, but that's one thing that the meet referee will want to conclude her meeting with the judges. So here's an example of a pay sheet. This one was given to us in the state of Pennsylvania by our state judging director, Marcy Blitz. I'm sure she would share it if there is interest. You can see that the meet referee is now sharing this on Zoom with all of her judging panels. This can be completed 
right here virtually. The meet referee could possibly have filled out the names and addresses and the ratings in advance. Or this could be downloaded into Google Sheets. So if it's in Google Sheets, the judges can fill out their own information. But regardless of how it's done, at the end of the day, before the judges sign off of Zoom, they can see and verbally approve this pay sheet. And then the meet referee can get it right off to the meet director. Okay, so that's all I have to share with you. My advice is just keep calm. Good luck to everybody. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping in and listening. If there's any questions you think I can answer, my email is below. Thanks and good luck.